welcome back to the channel everyone if you guys are new to the channel my name is Sarge and you guys are watching the Sarge on the water hey I'm a little bit excited today I got my package in I got my lure my lure molds and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open it up um, take a look at each mold and probably later on it's a little bit not warm but it's about 40 right now outside so we might go to the garage and then uh, probably remelt some lures we'll um, inject some and kind of take a look how the actual molds uh you know present itself so all right let's take a look at it guys here we go this is one of them i got two boxes all right i said i'm excited so this is one way to you know save money um of course you're gonna buy or spend a little bit more on your molds but you know in time you're gonna save a lot more money when you remelt or uh, just buy the plastic all and make your own lures so so i've been doing this for for a while now and here's one of them you know i've been really been buying any lures or plastic lures lately so i'm just sticking with uh, what i got so this is addition to what i have already so here we go what is this oh you got me a sticker and this is where i got them at so i got oh, they gave me two two stickers so that's the website right there, Angling AI. There you go. Let's see it. Pretty cool. I put that on my kayak or something. We'll see. We don't need that. We know how to do it. All right. Move that right there. So I had the five and six inch um, um, swim baits. Just have an addition of. Uh, three different kinds so the, the four inch uh, swim bait take a look at that so there you go so the four inch I'm probably not gonna make or uh, yeah, make some uh, swim baits today I already have a few so I'll probably just show it to you guys so I got the four inch the five inch and then I got the six inch six inch yep there you go got the four this is an open pour so you pretty much just uh you know melt your plastic soft plastic plastic saw whatever you call it and then you just pour it in here and then that'll make your swim baits so i got three right there okay two more in here right, we don't need that box right, what is this one so open these bad boys up and if you guys haven't um, gone to their website angling, angling uh, AI makes I mean their their molds are pretty much just flawless it's perfect so these are the tails for um, the worms so you got it right there so you want to make some worms so you, you know if you want a different color um, tip or tail just the tip so you make some of these and you put it inside the uh, mold and then you just inject it again and you know you can do whatever combinations you want different types of uh, I think this is the knuckle drag knuckle dragger so right there I know it's a little bit sh um, it's kind of shiny the, the light is kind of hitting it so I'll probably do that there you go probably looks better now they have a six six piece i just did a three i just wanted to have more um variety so instead of having a six six piece i ended up um getting another different um i think it's a one of those jerk baits uh, that's what i wanted so it's kind of different variety instead of having uh just one i have another different um lure on there different mold all right let's see what else we got guys these are the big boys so this one all right it's a pretty big one i don't even know what this is this is probably the worm and these are all the same all these like little things right here they're all the same so interchangeable and you can take these off if you want so you can um, actually put them all together and clamp them and then start injecting so let's see what this one is oh this is the tail this is the tail for one of my worms that I have. Let's 
put that back real quick. I've, I'm always all about having different tips. So I have like green and then I usually have red or green or chartreuse uh, um, tail. And I think this this should be the this should be it. So this is uh the worm itself, the mold. I'm pretty sure. So this is also, I believe, a ten inch that I got. There you go. See it right there. That's a the tail. So there's four of them in there. I can make four at a time. And then if I want a different tail, I just use that. You know, make some uh, different colors, and I just put it on top of uh, the tail. If it's a uh, chartreuse right here, then close it up, and then I inject it, and then I'll have whatever color I want on this side. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna inject some later on. I'm not gonna use, you know, I'm just gonna use probably just like one color or just like, you know, remelt some of the lure um, plastics, uh, soft plastics I have over there. Just to kind of see, you know, how they look. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be, they're gonna be awesome. I mean, this company is is really legit. Everything is, you know, is perfectly made. I had to wait for this for for a while because uh, um, it's kind of like when I ordered it, they sent me an email, you know, telling me it's in production, it's on the floor, you know, it's getting built, you know, etc. Probably waited like about a month, maybe. So just move that. What else do I got here? I think I should have a total of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10. All right, let's see. What is this one? Why am I missing a... Oh, I'm missing something. Oh no, maybe I didn't open it yet. Did I open this one? Yep, this is the core shot. This is the core shot. As you can see right there, there's little rods. So if you don't, if you want to just shoot them without the rod, it'll just fill it up. If you have the rod in there, it leaves a space in the middle of the worm. And then once you do, once you uh, shoot the the outside, and you go back in and shoot the inside and depends on what color you want. So you can do a lot of combinations with, with this uh, core shot. That's pretty cool right there. I'll probably show you some. I have some core shots already done um, a while back. All right, so we got a core shot. This is a pretty, pretty big size fluke, jerk bait, or whatever you, whatever you call it. I call them flukes. There you go. Oh, where's my? I think this is the atomic toad. You know what? Let me see. We gotta open more up. And I also got only two <clears throat> of this one. Use the double hooks. I like those um, with a keeper and then the double hook that goes on your frogs. I'm really a big fan of that. I've I've caught a lot with those already. So. And again, like I said, it was an option of me buying um, the one that had four four molds. The other one I had four uh, as well, but I decided, you know, what, I'm just gonna get two for now. I just wanted to see how it looks. I'm gonna get three of this one, and then you know later on I'll just buy the the bigger size. I just wanted a uh, you know more variety, pretty much. So man, look at this. This is just like it's clean. Everything's well made. It's crazy. Ooh, I'm, I'm excited. And this toad right here, there's like a little notch right there. I don't know if you can see it. So if you have the single hook, when you hook it on the frog, there's a little notch that comes up and you can keep on putting your um, hook on that uh, that end. So, you know, it doesn't stick out, doesn't get caught. So it's kind of really, really weedless. But if I use a double hook, I usually um, poke it um, on the sides with a double hook. So I'll show you guys later. We'll take a look at it. I'm excited. All right, so this is it right here, guys. This, uh, show you guys what I got did I open this one what is this I think this is uh what is this one? Oh yeah I already show you guys this one so these are the tails so I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go to the garage um, I'm gonna melt a couple of 
pucks that I have. Pucks is like the leftovers of the milk, the milk that I had, I did before. And also, yeah, I just probably melt whatever I see over there, soft plastics. I don't care what color it is. We're just gonna melt them all together and put a microwave, heat it up to 350. And then we're gonna start injecting all these and then uh, we'll come back here and we'll open them up and we'll see how they look, guys. All right, I'll be back or see you guys in the garage, I mean. All right, so we're gonna do the, the tail first for the 10 inch uh, worm. So I pretty much try to get all the chartreuse white that I can find. All right, so we're just gonna cut them into smaller pieces. Now after we cut up everything, we're just going to put it in the microwave. Put it for about uh, let's do 30 seconds for now because the glass is cold. I don't want it to pop. So we'll do 30, min 30 seconds and then we'll go ahead and do about uh, three minutes. We'll do three. There you go. All right, so it's been three minutes and uh, now we're just gonna check if it's uh, about 350. It's about 349. I think we'll be all right. 365, all right, that should be good. We'll get our Injector, put it in there. All right. So we need let that cool, cool off and we'll just let it cool down for a little bit and then we'll open it up. We'll check out what we got. All right. So let's put that to the side. Let's check out what we got. I had to put the other block here just so it's more stable when I inject it. It's a little bit warm. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look. It's a little bit hard to open. There you go. All right, there you go. Those are the tails right there. Let's take them all out. There goes your tails. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna pluck it from, from uh, this right here. We'll just get two of them. Put that to the side. Now we're gonna open up our 10 inch worm. This is gonna be killer, guys. All right, and all you gotta do is uh, put your tails in the slot. So I only have four here, so we'll just do two. Now we got some green in there. We'll throw some of these. These are some of the lures that either I don't use anymore or, you know, use from prior melts. Just remelting them, so we'll go with the uh, like copper truce, some green flakes on it. Just throw some other stuff in there. So I'm gonna walk around my garage and um, see what else we can find to throw in there. We need plenty for all these all these molds right here. So I got a big puck right here. We'll we'll cut that up.
Put a little bit of gold in there. These are from my buddy uh, at Paddling. If you want to hit him up on Instagram, Paddling Fish, Paddling underscore Fisherman. So he gives me all his like soft plastics after like you know using them. They're messed up. He sends it my way. I don't know if this is enough though. We'll we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it is. nice colors in there Let's see if we can get more so I think that's it guys it's a lot so we'll put it in the microwave probably do that for about four to five minutes Right back. Right, we'll take a look at it. I already uh, opened it up, and added some more, and kind of mixed it in a little bit just so it heats up evenly. So put it back. Put another another minute for now. All right, so we're at 358. That's perfect right there. I can see it. Just mix it up. So we got our injector. All right, let's do the first one. We'll just set this to the side, let it cool down. Might not be perfect, but I'm not really trying to make it perfect. I just want to see how it looks. All right. All right. We'll wait for it to dry, and then once it's uh, Dry, we'll take it off, we'll go back upstairs and uh, we'll go ahead and open it and see how it looks. Oh, this one needs more. Might have messed this one up, but we'll see. It should be all right. All right guys, so we're back. Uh, it was cold out there. So I was kind of in a rush to do things, but I think we got it done. Hopefully all the molds, all the lures came out fine. Um, so let's get right on it, take a look at it. Let's go open this one up first. What is this one? The jerk bait. All right. All right. All right. There you go. This one looks good. This one looks good. Y'all see that? Put it out a little bit. Let's take it out. I think this is a five, six inch. Pretty big fluke. There you go. It's really nice. Look at all the colors. Put it on the light. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna look nice. So you got four of those. Just pluck them out. And you can always remelt these. So there you go, guys. It's four right there. I think that'll that'll do. I'm trying to get the light on it. Get it closer. Got all the all the glitters and everything, so looks good. Okay, we got that. Just laying right there. Just put these back. All right, let's see if these other ones came out nice. Hopefully they did. All right, so what is this one? I think this is the atomic toad, atomic frog, something like that. All right, here we go. All right, it is, it is. There you go. 
trying to sh shine some light on it. It's kind of messed up. I know I messed up on this one. It didn't come out perfectly, but I think we did all right. So there you go. Got the frog. You can see it. And that little notch right there, a little hump, that's where your hook goes in there. So it's kind of keeps it weedless. So you can put either the double hook, kind of like, like how I rigged this right here with a double hook with a twist lock right there. Or you can Texas rig. Let's see if I have my Texas rig over here. Right. So just Texas rig it. Then the hook goes right in there. So the hook is inside. It's right there. So you can keep on hooking it up right there. So there you go. That looks good too. All right. It's another one, guys. Looks good. Let's get the light on this thing. Let me get a better look at it. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's close this up. Let's move on to the next one. Like I said, I just wanted to, I just remelted whatever I got over there. And uh, you can make, you know, whatever color you want. It just depends on what you want. You can do two colors different um, on the top and the bottom. So these, I said I'm going to go this weekend. I'm going to go out. So hopefully the weather is nice and we'll be able to catch fish all right what's this one oh the i think it's a knuckle dragger there you go looks good guys looks good looks good perfect there you go beautiful guys And just pluck it out of there. These are all remelts, so they're all gonna look the same. Look at that profile. So let's uh, get all this stuff off of here. They're all still stuck together. Let's kind of separate them. There you go. That's pretty dope, pretty dope. All right, so we got that. You got the flukes. This is the tail. It should be the tail. Oh yeah, we gotta put this together. I'm gonna lose some parts. All right. Everything's looking good, guys. Everything's looking good. Move that to the side. And earlier I did a you know a different tail on it. Boom. Boom. Looks good. There you go. This is a 10 inch. If you stretch your mouth, it's 10 inch. But see right there, I got a different color, uh, color tail. Beautiful. You can put whatever you know color you want. This one, I just whatever I had in the garage was a little bit different, so I just chose the yellow, kind of chartreuse. There you go, guys. Put that on a Texas rig or something. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. We'll pluck that out. We got these. Oh, there you go. Boom. Boom, baby. Got that. Let's put this back. I think we got one more. Let's see how that one looks. Oof, I'm getting all excited. It starts getting, you know, warmer out there. We'll be in the garage a lot more. Be making a lot more baits. I got all the different colors and everything, so I'll be I'll be trying to do some experiments. Here's another one. What is this one? Did I open this one already? I think I did, right? This is the fluke. Oh, this is the fluke. It's fluke. The toad. 
knuckle drag card. Okay, I think we got it. We got all four. The, the other ones, um, I didn't really um, make some because I already had some that I made previously. So this is the six inch. I just had them in red. Six inch swim bait. And you can put different colored uh, eye, you know, eye, what eyes, whatever you, whatever color you want. This is just all red, six inch. And the one I have here is just uh, another five inch and four inch. So it's all the same, just different sizes. There you go. And for the other one, so I'm talking about the core shot. I don't know if you can see it, if I stretch it out. So it's a little bit light on the outside and the inside it's red. So as you can see, the tip is red. Looks more like a worm, you know, like an actual brownish, red, red brownish worm right there. So that's, that's how you do the core shot. Now if you want to change the, the tip of it, you just, you know, add the tip. So I have the red one and the chartreuse one. So there you go, guys. Done. Everything, everything worked out you know, 99.9% .9 perfectly, you know, a little, some of them are not really perfect like this one right here. Had some imperfections, but I kind of knew that was gonna happen because uh, when I was injecting it, I felt a little air and I tried to get more out. So it's better if you just inject it all the way and then, you know, fill it up. Kind of my mistake, but it's all good. You know, hey, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys got any questions on how to make lures, uh, where to get them like i said i got these from uh, angling ai pretty pretty dope company so when you order it's gonna probably take about about a month because uh they actually when you order then they make it so yeah if you guys got any questions let me know i uh, appreciate you guys for watching if you guys haven't done so and you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that notification button and uh see you guys underwater guys catch you guys next time on sergeant water underwater peace out